What's up guys and welcome back. Today we're gonna look into a guy who is really into his sushi very fresh. Two million people watch that. <laughs> well that's Franklin from Raw Fishing and uh, he's special. Like with all the other pet YouTubers, on the surface he seems pretty okay. I do realize I said that right after showing you that clip. But as you see, just watch a few videos and you realize he's just the perfect douche. Mm. And by that, I mean you have to be at a certain level of douchebag to do this kind of shit. Just like that, guys. So are you guys ready for the Battle Royale fish fights? Three, two, one. Oh my. If he did that shit with dogs, that would mean one to five years in prison. But because he's doing it with fish, he gets rewarded with monetization. And boy, does he love his ads. Jesus Christ, this man puts ads every 30 seconds. Even Fortnite sponsored him. In this email, all they want is for me to tell you guys, the Raw fam, what Fortnite is. And they literally just pulled all their ads from the platform because of the whole pedo shit going on. But hey, at least we know where the limit is with Fortnite and Epic Games. Pedo shit wrong. Fish fighting, okay. He literally fucking states it won't be the only time he does it. The arena awaits. So we are going to put, you know, one or two fish in here, or actually two or three fish in here at a time and let them fight to the death. <laughs> but, but he does seem to fail a little bit. Most of the fish doesn't really want to fight because they're not aggressive even though he really wants them to be. This is my tiger shovel nose hybrid and we are going to be introducing him to his new rival. Are you guys ready for a fish battle? Three, two, one. Hi guys, welcome. You guys are now rivals, okay? So I guess he basically just loved clickbait. Which again fits perfectly with the excessive amount of fucking ads. I've seen football matches with fewer ad breaks than his videos. But again, that's a minor nuisance since it's not actually illegal. <laughs> the videos the ads are on the other hand. There he does break the law multiple times. Let's start with the simple one. How many times will he release an invasive species into the wild? That is an albino paku right here that we're gonna be releasing. What a douche! Jesus fucking Christ! The level of not giving a single fuck for the ecosystem is quite high. That should be enough to be pissed at him, really. Now, let's jump into the next thing. How he takes care of his animals. You know, when he doesn't make them fight each other. Apparently he has a blue lobster. So if any of you guys remember, that is the electric blue lobster. And according to the title of this video, it's the dream tank we're going to make. That is such an epic tank. I mean, he honestly deserves it. It's three gallons. Now, I don't have lobsters, but I do know how to Google. And according to Google, the recommended size is 20 gallons. So the dream tank, is one sixth the size of the recommended tank. Well, basically he taught a million people how to torture a lobster. So yeah, his care ain't too great either. Then we have this video where he makes a fish tank out of a fucking pumpkin and sticks a fucking fish in it. He taught two million people to stick a fish in a pumpkin. He makes Paul Cafaro so far looks like a freaking amateur. I think we could like cut this off and make this into a, a little fish tank. <laughs> There's a fish in there. What the actual fuck is he doing? What is the actual value of this video except he didn't know how to make a Halloween themed video. So he tortured a fish. He basically seems like he's willing to do pretty much anything to make a video and get views. Which is probably why people think he killed his fish. 
People came to my house and stole my $25,000 fish collection. He claims someone stole his fish, yet they're right fucking next to him. You literally just threw them and you left your stupid little- So no one he stole his fish, they killed his fish. Bit different. He also claims he has surveillance of the same thing, yet we never get to see any of that. So people don't believe him. And at a bare minimum, he is either lying about the value of his fish, or he's just that dumb. I mean, look at this. This is a $7,000 koi. $7,000 for that thing. That is a tiny, wild type looking koi. This is a $7,000 koi. That is at best a $50. And of course he got millions of views out of it and a shit ton of ad revenue because he has a lot of fucking ads even on this. So if people are correct in their accusations, he was successful at it. And it's pretty fucking disturbing that you're so bad and horrible on an average level that people literally will think this about you. And it's plausible! And why the fuck is he constantly keeping fish out of water? Bro, do you want that tank? We're gonna take this guy over the canal. How would you fucking feel if someone stunk your head into water and, and just held it there for 30 seconds and yanked you up and dunked you back in. Not fucking great, I think. The really sad part is when you go back into the channel, you realize he's doing it because he got views out of it. The first time he uploaded a video about this, it got a hell of a lot more views than any other video on his channel. He used to be a run-of-the-mill fishing channel and people fucking love it. They're even encouraging him to continue with this fucked up shit. Which is just even worse, really. When you read the comments, you basically think, yeah, this, this is it, this is what's wrong with humanity. If you need to get a downer, there you go, read those comments. Personally, I think Franklin really needs to sit down, think about what he's actually doing with his life and why he does it. He's monetizing breaking the law over and over again just because it gets him views. I'm, I'm basically gonna leave it at that because I don't think he's actually going to change too much. I think he'll continue to treat fish like nothing more than a paycheck and not give a flying rat's ass about the environment and the ecosystem he is ruining every time he releases one of these fish. And basically only he can actually prove me wrong by changing what he does. But I don't think he will. What about you guys? Do you think he can actually change? I think he'll continue until someone literally stops him. So that's gonna do it for today's video. Please leave a like and subscribe. It means a lot. And thank you for spending a couple of minutes with me sitting in an office ranting about a guy treating fish like a picture.